um so uh, as you said that you wanted to solve your pro problem so how did you start reading correct uh i was not an avid reader mm -hmm. since childhood mm -hmm. in fact i used to hate books i still remember till till the till the 6th grade i used to firmly believe that anonymous is a name of a famous poet oh <laughs> that, that naive reader i was uh, all thanks to my elder brother mm -hmm. so my elder brother is way elder to me by 12 years so more of a fatherly figure and less of a fighter sibling we never fought wo jo bolega chup chap sunne ka because he was like a father to me uh so he he used to play trick on my birthdays just few days before my birthday in the month of july he used to call all my friends their parents and strictly warn them that nobody will get toys and board games and dresses fancy dresses for amrut on his birthday as gift items if at all you want to get anything get a nice book a story book for him so in short surbi i never enjoyed my birthdays <laughs> Uh, I believe that uh, you have gotten the cake at least. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, surrounded with books, no toys to play. Mm -hmm. For the first time, I met Harry Potter and Sherlock Holmes and Tenali Raman and Vikram Vetal and Agbar Birbal and and Rabindranath Tagore's interesting stories and Swami from Malgudi days. Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast. I mean, I fell in love with stories. I fell in love with stories, and so I fell in love with stories, not books, because all children love stories and the pictures, those colorful pictures in the in the books. Yeah. So I, of course, uh, I got introduced to books in a very amateurish way, but I think the turning point came after my tenth exams. Okay. when i was just hanging out in the summer vacation my brother again came to me with a serious face and said abhi ye kya bomb dalega <laughs> and, and uh, you are now growing up okay? you are no more a kid you you will be clearing 10th exams so uh, you should start reading non fiction i said what's that <laughs> as a innocent child i thought books means only stories and fantasy and fiction right No, there are thousands of books out there which may not have stories in them, but you get to learn a lot from these books. They are called as self-help books right. or non-fiction books. And I said that then what was I learning in school for last ten years? I was learning, right? So why I need learn again? And he said, no, no, these things are not taught in schools and colleges. I said, why? That was the shock <laughs> of my life. <laughs> and he said i don't know <laughs> because he was also too young to answer this difficult question and he gifted me the book that time my first non fiction self help book of my life rich dad poor dad what about kiyosaki i love that book and i i remember i finished that book in just two days and the book hooked me so much even if there were no fantasy in it there were stories there are there is a story in it where robert kiyosaki talks about his two fathers yeah one real father and one friend's father so it was in a story form but not a pure fictional one uh and i i went mad on my parents my teachers <laughs> nobody in my entire 10 years of education even talked about forget about teaching right. talked about money money matters that why rich people people become rich it's not because they are destined to do it or they are more intelligent than us no it's just about some financial literacy simple rules of money if you understand you no know, right. passive income active income you know, right. why rich people become rich because they focus on passive income poor people remain poor because they focus on active income mm -hmm. simple fundas and i was like pop oh, re i have missed something big <laughs> my formal school education is not complete it may be it is important maybe to the extent of 50% have to learn you no know, big ideas from these great books and then come then came up the monk who sold his ferrari robin sharma think and grow rich napoleon hill uh who of my cheese spencer johnson paulo coelho uh, alchemist and there was never end and i never look back 
I became a voracious, avid, crazy book lover, and I realized that the more I know, the more I come to know that there is a lot that I don't know. All right. Right, right.